Okay, hello everyone. So we need to solve this one again. We need to find uh, the function v given u is equal to that, such that the complex valued function made up of u and v like that is analytic. All right. So if that complex valued function f of z is analytic, it means that the partial derivative of u with respect to x should be equal to uh, the partial derivative of v, um, of course, with respect to y. Okay, so but we know we can find the partial derivative of u with respect to x from this one, right? So um, let's do the differentiation here from this expression. So if I remove brackets, I'll have something like x e to the minus x sine y minus e to the power of minus x y cos y. So if I differentiate with respect to x, that expression, uh, taking y to be constant, I will have, uh, this is a product, right? u v is v du. So it will be e to the power of minus x uh, sine y, all right, plus u dv, so it will be minus x e to the power of minus x sine y. The differentiation of this one will be a positive minus x y cos y, okay? So that's the derivative u, and eventually we can see that is our d, d, v d y. So we ignore this piece, and then we consider this going that time. So we want to find v. What do we do to reverse differentiation? We integrate. So it means v is equal to the integral. This is the indefinite integral, right? e to the power of minus x sine y minus x e to the power of minus x sine y plus uh, e to the power of minus x y cos y then with respect to y okay because this partial y when it comes this side the mean of partial v is equal to partial y but when we integrate uh, the integral of partial v alone give you a v and this integral be like that then if we simplify further taking x to be uh, constant, the integral of uh, sine we get minus cos. So this will be minus e to the power of minus x cos y. Then this one would be a plus x to the power of minus x cos y. Then the integral of this piece, uh, you y cos y, y cos y. It will give you something like this. So let's do it quickly here. Yeah? Y cos y dy. So when you say let uh, u be equal to y and your dv be equal to cos y. So according to the, uh, that integration by parts, you have. Uh, uv so v is equal to the integral of that is sine y so if i consider uv to be y sine y minus integral of v du which is just sine y dy so this becomes y sine y plus cos y right? so that's what we want here y sine y plus cos y plus the constant of integration because this is indefinite, right? So we have to put a constant of integration. So, but in this case, yeah, we can call it a constant which is a function of x. So, so, um, Oh, okay. So we, we have to apply each and every quantity because this was a constant we factored out. So if we take e to the power of minus x into effect, 
we should behave in this quantity appearing one because we factored it out as a constant. So you can clearly see that this quantity will cancel that and this will simplify to x e to the minus x cos y um, plus that plus e to the minus x y sine y plus this constant. Okay, so that's our v. Again, due to that function being analytic, uh, the partial of u with respect to y should be equal to negative the partial of v with respect to x, isn't it? Is equal to negative the partial of v with respect to x. So let's do that. What is the partial of u with respect to y? This long expression here, yeah? the differentiation of that with respect to y. So when we effect this, uh, so okay, so before we effect the minus, let's work out this first. We want to work out this first, we write it down. So the partial of this with respect to y, to y this differentiation of sign is cos, so it will be x e to the power of minus x cos y. Differentiation of that is a product, so we have minus e to the power of minus x, open bracket. We have uv there, that's v du, which is cos y plus, so it will be minus y sine y. Okay? So remove, removing brackets here, we have this, okay? So x e to the minus x cos y minus e to the minus x cos y plus e to the minus x y sine y. Then we need to integrate that expression by with respect to x, so v is equal to the integral with respect to x of x e to the minus x cos y minus e to the minus x cos y plus e to the power minus x y sine y integral of this expression with respect to x, this will give us, with respect to x, remember this integral, we worked it out somewhere. Oh, oh, okay, we didn't. We didn't. But it's very simple. It's very simple. Integral of x e to the power of minus x with respect to x. Uh, you say let u be equal to x and then dv be equal to e to the power of minus x which implies that your v is equal to minus e to the power of minus x okay so this integral is none other than uv which is minus x e to the power of minus x okay then minus the integral of v du, which is plus e to the minus x dx, which is minus x e to the minus x minus e to the power minus x, right? So we need that here, multiplying by cos y, we have minus x e, e to the power of minus x cos y minus e to the power of minus x cos y we are done here we move on to this one integration of that it becomes plus e to the power of minus x cos y we move on to this one and becomes minus e to the power of minus x y sine y plus a constant in this case, we were integrating with respect to x, so it would be a constant in terms of y. Okay? So, this, 
Okay, let's see. Are there any terms that can cancel here? This and that. Nice. And then we remain with this and that. So if, if we compare this and the previously calculated function v, let's compare this v and this new v. Um, we have this guy here, e to the x, y sine x, okay? Is it clear? Okay, so remember, remember we're supposed to affect this negative. We didn't, yeah? It doesn't affect much. We can plug it now. So, yes, we can plug the, the minus here. It will be x e to the minus x cos y plus e to the minus x y sine y plus a constant in terms of y. So let's compare this v, this v and this v. So this is that, this is that, and the constant. So the constant is, uh, can be any general constant. We can call that C. So therefore, therefore, our V would be this plus this, this one plus a constant C, any constant C in general. Okay, and we are done. You can factor out e to the x out if you want, but you just write this expression plus a constant a, capital letter A, where a is equal to this. Uh, it's, we are generalizing because really it's, it's not going away, so we just place a capital letter A. Thank you.